We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. <laughs> okay, we're talking relationship goals today. No, Brian plays word games all day long. It's not all day long. If I can give him that triple word score. <laughs> Relationships are very important to us and they span far beyond partner, spouse. A kid, like um, parent, child. Yeah, I think that a lot of times we have an overall selfish nature and um, it's really important to have goals in general for our relationships. Strengthen our ability to be able to focus on others. And in order to do that, you have to really practice and work on being in relationship with other people. Mm -hmm. um, so whether it's your friendships or your spouse, your parents or your children. It takes effort. Yeah, yeah, they do. I guess this whole issue, you know, that hashtag relationship goals, like we don't want to be anybody's relationship goals. We just want to have them. Even if you get to a place where you start to think that um, someone else is goals as far as um, the type of mother they are or father they are, I think that um, it's cute or whatever to be able to say hashtag relationship goals, but instead of being relationship goals, we want to have mm -hmm. relationship goals. And in order to do that, gotta be intentional. Yeah, I think that I have been super intentional in my relationship with the kids and then my relationship with you. But one of the biggest things that I want to work on is my relationship, I don't know, with my parents and with mm -hmm. other family members. That makes sense. Um, your, your family isn't close. So yeah. my parents live within an hour of us, but within 45 minutes, Serena's parents live at least four hours. Yeah. And then another trip would be nine hours. So she does not see her family very often. So. I guess it's a matter of like passive and active relationships. I feel like our relationship with your parents is a lot more passive because we see them all the mm -hmm. time. So um, it's a lot more natural, it's easier, but then you have those other relationships where you have to actively participate and put it on the schedule or the calendar mm -hmm. in order to maintain them. So I wanna do better um, with that and be more intentional with my family and more of our friends. Actually, I wanna be more intentional in our social spaces too. Um, because Brian knows that I would 100% throw in the towel with social media if it wasn't for the fact that it opens up a door to connect to people and to find people that end up becoming, you know, really valuable in your life. So I found, you know, a very select few of really incredible moms that I now call my friends that I've never met before. And I just want to be, um, sometimes I get onto social media and you get really wrapped up in trying to respond to comments and answer emails and all of those things from people that reach out to you but um then that gives you less and less time to really connect to the people that um, you want to kind of strengthen those relationships and i think i want to be more intentional about that so yeah so you want to focus more on your relationship with your family and social media i think especially because of the way that 2020 has been panning out yeah 2020 is canceled <laughs> except for we can't actually cancel it. We actually have to push through the rest of it. Um, and so all of those things, like those times when we normally see our family members during holidays and stuff, it's not happening right now. Mm -hmm. um, so I really think that I need to move with a little bit more intention and just kind of like put them on my, you know what I did actually? I put it as a line item on my um, iCal. Um, what, when to call people? Yeah, like it's, it's a keep in touch calendar. 
<laughs> Keeping in touch with her is, is a work in progress. Yeah, it is. But I'm getting yeah. better. She can be out of sight, out of mind type. And now she doesn't really mean to be, but that's kind of how it ends up being. So, unless you're right there with her, she'll ghost you. I've been ghosted. I, I, it will happen. But look at how you turned. <laughs> For Mother's Day, Brian got us um, two notebooks. That was our anniversary. That was our anniversary. anniversary. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sheesh. Okay, wait. So for our anniversary, Brian got us two writer's notebooks, mm -hmm. um, and we the goal is to write in them and pass them to one another. I think that just doing things like this and working on this project together mm -hmm. is, is for me a relationship goal mm -hmm. um, of ours, to be able to um, build this um, these films together. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm getting better, you know? She we, has. We she all has have better. strengths. And we all have weaknesses, so I'm definitely getting better. But what about you? What are your relationship goals? Spending as much time as the kids as possible, like one-on-one -on -one time. Because time seems to be moving so fast. They're getting yeah. so old. Cameron is going to be 12 this year. So you think, you know, five years from now, he'll be, you know, 17 driving. Um, so I really would like to start spending one-on-one -on -one time with them. I've started to do a little bit, like Kendall. Kendall and I take bike rides. Just him and I, and he really enjoyed it, so it became like it. a thing I can't run by myself anymore. Honestly, I think that when you make things a thing, you know I like to do that. <laughs> Just like Cupcake Hair Day mm -hmm. and any other things we do in our homeschool and life. Um, I think when you make them a thing, um, it makes it more exciting. And Something so, to look forward to. Yes. Kendall also wants to go fishing. Yeah. Um, but I just really want to find the things that Cameron and I and Savannah and I could do kind of one on one. I have been doing the cupcake hair day with Savannah. Mm -hmm. So that is something that we've been doing together. Cameron and I, we have like smaller things that we do together. We kind of have design meetings. He's really into um, doing that with me. So whenever he's got a new project and he wants mm -hmm. to go over it with me, we kind of have these little design meetings and talk about it and talk about our creativity and growing in that. So we have that. And then we do this, um, we have handshakes. So we yeah. all have our Everyone individual handshakes. So I have a handshake with each one of them. And then also Cameron and I, I don't even know if he's gonna want me to say this, but um, since he was super little, I've just always told him that he's growing so fast and I just wanna make sure that I can hold him for as long as possible. Um, so every now and then I'll pick him up and see if I can hold him for like 20 seconds mm -hmm. and just kind of hug him and tell him I love him. So we've still been doing that and That's he's 11. I know, I know, because I did it the other day yeah. and I was like, oh boy, <laughs> like my time is coming to an end. <laughs> but um, I think he really enjoys that though and he knows that eventually I'm not going to be able to hold him mm -hmm. anymore. Um, Kendall's very much independent and he, you know, he doesn't need a lot. Um, but what I will do is when he is, he's, he's big on focus. Like his focus is so mm -hmm. strong. I mean, he could read a book and not be bothered one bit by anything that yeah. is going on around him. And so oftentimes when he's in his zone, um, whether it's playing a program on the iPad or reading or whatever, I try to like slide in and just cuddle up next mm -hmm. to him. And I'll just sit there and just kind of like listen to his heartbeat and he uh, loves it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he loves it. So those are like little things that I do with each one of them to help strengthen our relationship that aren't like some big production. Mm -hmm. Even like there's things that we say as a family all together, but there's individual things that I will speak with each one mm -hmm. of them that I will keep secret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and those little itty bitty things help to strengthen our relationship. I think for, what about you? So Savannah and I have been going on little dates and get, going out to get ice cream and stuff, but we haven't done that in a little bit. My goal is just to be a little bit more consistent with them as far as making, cutting out time for us to do one-on-one -on -one things. Yeah, kids really do well with um, consistency. Routine. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it provides a sense of security. One we thing- We have that book too. 
Oh yeah. So we got these books. Um, some friends recommended it to us, and they're basically conversation starters. So <laughs> one version for couples. But this but is th 365 connecting questions for couples. And then there's a version for families, and it's basically just a conversation starter. So every day of for every day of the year. There is one question. But they're really, really good questions. I know a lot of times I, I get really frustrated because I want to talk about things and um, in the ebbs and flow of the day, it just doesn't work out because his mind is fixated on things he needs to do for the day. My mind is fixated on things I need to do for the day. And Serena likes talking about heavy things anyway. I do. She's not a small talk I'm not. type of person. She <laughs> likes to be talking about something deep yes meaningful. some kind of issue mm -hmm. some kind of resolution Gross. something that matters <laughs> where i am very much more like a small talk just some questions from the connecting family okay uh what is the scariest thing you have ever experienced what made it so scary would you rather live in antarctica or outer space for a year <laughs> what would you bring with you what makes you feel energized and why what are some good characteristics of a friend what is one thing you cannot imagine living without and why oh you know what we should do we should actually record or write down their answers. And then when we do them the yeah. next year, see how their answers change. Mm -hmm. That would, that would uh, be a good idea. Like, what does it mean to be a good person? Which habits and values does a good person have? What do you think adults spend their money on that is wasteful? Mm, that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. So it's nice. It takes the guesswork out of trying to think about what um, to talk about. So yeah, those are some of our relationship goals. We really just wanted this to be like um, a very casual sit down and talk about some of the things that we talk about together mm -hmm. <laughs> without any real plan to it. Um, and now we're just gonna write those down and move forward with some intention. So we'd love to know what are some of your relationship goals? What are the relationships that you are looking to strengthen? Like maybe some short term mm -hmm. things and or long term relationship goals. Um, because it's important. Relationships are important. Anything else? That's it. But w w what's your goals for me again? I tell you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> More picnics in the park? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. They all on there. They they're on they're there. All on there. Oh, okay. So yeah, life is full of lessons. So we live. Mm -hmm. <laughs>